the first project um, is basically this app called cat ears through which you calculate how old your cat really is in cat ears um, it's a not it's not very complex honestly um, but in, it involves a little bit of code uh, to understand what strings are and how you sort of um, work between strings and integers I think and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna do it here goes right so I'm gonna attempt to make this app which is basically a really simple app that helps you calculate how old your cat really is in cat years so I'm gonna start a new Xcode project here this is a single view app so I just go to next I'm gonna call this cat age just to be cool uh, next just get it created in a folder on my desktop okay um, so basically what I want to see is main storyboard which is literally just an iPhone on my screen so that I can see what it looks like um, I add another editor here what I'm gonna do now is change this editor to view controller which is basically where I see all the code and then the one on the right stays the main storyboard okay so I'm just gonna make sure that I can see both things just adjusting my screens and the view all right so what I'm gonna do now here is add a label call it cat ears mm, I'm just gonna make this a little bolder I have no problem with the font so don't really care about that maybe what I'll do is just make it bold yeah and just center it then I'm gonna add another label below this which will have text in it that says how old is your cat just can center this as well then I'm going to add a text field below this which is where you enter your um, age I mean your cat's age not your age uh, there's gonna be some placeholder text here called enter in years all right you can't see the whole sentence so I'm just gonna elongate a little bit and the other thing I'm gonna change in the settings is change your keyboard type to a number pad yeah that basically will restrict the number pad I mean the keyboard that opens up when you type here into just showing numbers then I click on plus again and I go and click on button and then I place the button right here I'm gonna edit this so that it says submit then I need another label which will have text that says in cat years your cat is Centering this as well. Then I need another label. This is the one that we're going to change with the actual cat age. For now, I'm just going to put in 56. I'm going to center this. And I will. Let's see. Change the color to green. Alright. Uh, another thing I can do here is just to make it a little more fancy. I will add something called an image view which is basically just a frame that will hold an image this can be any stupid image doesn't really have to be a fancy one for now uh, and how do I add that image I've already downloaded one in the same folder that I have this file in so I'm just gonna drag that picture that's the picture <laughs> what yeah I'm just gonna drag it below main storyboard Make sure you check copy items if needed and then say finish yeah so if you see you can see it here but what i want to do is go back to main storyboard click on this image view go to image here and then click on this download yeah it's basically going to pick up the image and display it here so we're basically done with 
what this app is going to look like but none of this really works and now we get to the code so the first thing I want to do is link this text field to this code I'm going to keep it an outlet and call it age yeah then I'm just going to go down and link this because this is what is going to display the answer link it here it's going to be an outlet again and I'm going to call this cat ears okay then I want to link this button so I'm going to link it back here to the code this is going to be an action and I'm going to call it submit simple right okay so uh, closing this okay so now basically what we want to do is have the age uh, the number entered here should be multiplied by 7 and the answer should be displayed here now the problem with that is that the number that you enter here is going to be um, defined as a string by Swift but you want Swift to think that it's an integer so what we do is we change it to an integer so you say int and then you say age dot text yeah and then you multiply it by 7 and what you do is you call this uh, let in cat years all right so it shows an error which basically means that we need to tell switch that we know this is going to be an integer and just to be safe we put another exclamation mark outside i'm told that this is something that's going to change eventually uh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is what I've been told, so I'm just gonna follow it. Okay, so it says that in carriers is equal to we change age dot text into an integer into seven. And then what we do is we're going to say that uh, this answer is going to be displayed in this label, right? So what we want to say is cat years dot text is equal to string in cat years. Basically, what this means is we're changing this back to a string, which has to be displayed over here. And yeah, that's about it. That's the code. I'm just gonna play this so that we see it's generated. Build succeeded. I'm gonna open up this build here. Yeah. Yep, here it is. Alright, let's test it. How old is your cat? I have a cat that's like three years old. Not really, but let's try it. Woo! Works. 3 and 7 is 21. And we're done! So that was my attempt at making a really simple and stupid app called Cat Ears. I'll put up um, the next stupid app I make on this channel as well. Okay, bye!